guys, we're going to do some work on casting today. A lot of people, the biggest problem they have when they come on my fishing tours is just getting the distance out of their cast. If you get a good di cast distance, you get to where the fish are, whether you're using lures, you might be trying to get to a distant reef or get out to a gutter or something like that, so you'll catch a lot more fish if you get your cast right. The two rods we're going to demonstrate with, we've got the Assassin Bluefish Zero. It's 14 foot long, it's got a cast weight of 85 to 115 grams. And the other rod we're going to use today, Assassin again. It's the Assassin Spin Tech, it's 10 foot long, it's more suitable for pinging out your lures. It's got a cast weight of 30 to 85 grams. Now it's important to stick with your cast weights on your rods. If you go too light on your weight, you're not going to load up the tip and bend it and have the power to ping it off at the end. But if you're too heavy when you go cast, the weight's just going to stay still while the rod bends and it doesn't really get the propellant and going as far as it could. So if you stay in those weights in the middle, you'll be in the sweet spot and you'll get the long casts. Now the other thing that will affect your cast is your line weight. The lighter the line, the further you cast. It's a bit of a balancing act between the fish you're trying to catch and how heavy you want to go. But we've got 15 pound on this rod and we've got 50 pound on this one, which is what we'd normally use for those purposes. Now we'll go through a few of the casting techniques. Right, so the first thing we want to get right is you've got to get the distance from your rod. You can do a, a long distance, but you've got to get a smooth parabolic curve as you go it, so nice and smooth. If you drop the sinker or the lure on the ground and bring it up and ping it like that, then it's going to be an ugly cast. So you want to almost swing it out and around and over to do a long cast. You grip with your hand. I normally always say put your little finger behind the reel seat and that's normally perfect for most people. Have the roller pointing towards the rod. Put just the tip with your index finger. Just grab the line just on the tip of your finger like that and that's it, you're set to cast. Now, a lot of people who are used to small rods will do what we call swishing, where they just throw the rod like that, just sideways like that, and you, you don't get the power. You'll get away with it with a little rod, but you won't get away with it trying to punch a big bait into a sea breeze. What you've got to think of this is a fulcrum and a lever. So this is your fulcrum here, this part of your rod's your lever. You're pulling down over the top of your fulcrum. So you pull hard with this hand and just push up a little with this hand. Technically, when you're learning, line everything up straight. So you're going straight over the top. Have your reel pointing straight up, have your wrist pointing straight up, and go straight over the top of your shoulder. As you get better, you'll get a bit slacker and you can go side on, but you're still doing that fulcrum and lever thing like this. You're not just throwing both hands together at the same time. It's always levering over this back hand. So we'll go and we'll do a cast and show you what it looks like. So here we go. Roll it towards the rod, peel the bail back, back, wrist pointing up, straight over the top of the shoulder, like that. That's just sailed out 100 metres. And with that method, you will actually get a much smoother cast. You don't use as much energy. You can cast like that all day long. All right, we'll get the length right. We've got the big 14 foot rod. Line the roller up with the rod. Just the tip of the index finger on the line. Everything pointing straight up, reel straight up, wrist straight up. Just pull down hard with this. Not much effort, and we just sent a 100 gram sinker 100 metres. Right, so it's a bit about practice. You can't learn the cast instantly. It's a bit of a repetitive thing. You just, the more you do it, it just becomes natural after a while. Now, we're going to throw a lure. Now, if you try just to, especially when you're learning cast, is fast and as hard as you can, you're going to get ugly with your action. The idea is just to keep things nice and smooth, nice and curved, the rod comes around, the rod lure curves around, and if you do it nice and smooth, this lure will 
flip over and it will fly through the air like an arrow and it will go twice as far as if you try to cast as hard as you can this thing's cartwheeling through the air loses all its aerodynamics and just falls short into the water so smooth cast nice parabolic curve and she'll fly straight watch this so we've got about 80 centimetres to a metre of line on the back of that rod I want it to swing around a nice parabolic curve and fly up straight nice and smooth Right as an arrow through the air, that's what you want to see. Alright, so we've got a what we call a wind on leader, shock leader, mono line, that's about 60 centimetres long. This one I think is 30 pound on the 15 pound braid. We've got an FG knot here, it goes smoothly through the runners. You go too long this knot bangs through the runners, it'll tend to give you wind knots because the, the knot will slow up the lure as it goes through the air where the line's coming fast off the reel. And the other problem you'll have when you're retrieving the line, you always want tension on the line back on the reel. So if you've got a big surf and you're using a surface lure, see the wave catch your lure, put the line between two fingers while you're winding in, just have tension on the line. If that line goes tight on the spool, you won't get wind knots. Okay, in an ideal world, 100 metres would get you to where you need your bait to be and you wouldn't have to do much more than that. But the world isn't ideal. Sometimes you're going to have a big bait on there, it's going to be a lot of wind resistance, you're going to have a strong sea breeze in your face and you really need to maximise that cast. So, follow my instructions. We got that howl and sea breeze. Swell's pushing right up the beach, unlike this beach, it's a quite steep beach. All the same, you'll get more distance if you wait for that wave to break. Follow it out, go right to the water's edge, then cast. Just leave your reel in free spool, run back up to the top of the beach, letting your line fall out, and you'll get that extra distance just that the waves give you. Always make the most of what you can.